Hey everyone, Jake from Cycle Station tuning in. Just wanted to give everybody a bit of a brief introduction on why e-bikes suck and why they're ruining the bike industry and why the platform is never going to proceed into strength to strength movement. So I've done a lot of research into this. All of my stats are irrefutable, uh, backed up by hasty Googles and the odd Yahoo search thrown into the mix. So to get us started, we need to start back in France, which we know everything the French do is awesome, also irrefutable. 1818, they created the first bicycle. Uh, it was a bit of a useless, oh, actually, sorry, it was a bit of a, a beautiful piece of art. You sat on it and you, you ran. I think it was to get around the Garden of Versailles or something. Uh, that's where it kicked off, and that's when the uh, bicycle was in its first ever uh, incarnation, and it was perfect. Everything that we've done since then is proceeded to destroy it piece by piece. Pedals, where are we looking? We're looking 1860-ish. Somebody decided to add a crank drive pedal system to the bike, uh, completely useless. Uh, we we're perfectly happy sitting and running on this bike and the uh, furthering of technology and adding pedals was a complete and utter waste of time uh, and just detracted from the overall experience. Gears. We're looking like early 1900s. We had a hub system come along. The ability to pedal harder and faster or pedal slower and get up hills completely um, goes against everything I stand for as a cyclist. Single speeders unite and even better than that, fixed gear. Uh, and above that direct drive where it's cranks through wheels would be ideal, but I'll let you off on fixed through the crank. But gears, another completely useless and arbitrary uh, addition to the bicycle as we now know it and wish it never happened. Suspension, something else that I'm just totally embarrassed about as a cyclist, fully rigid, was how they were designed to be in the early 1800s and every version of uh, RockShox, Fox, Manitou, even uh, little bits of rubber in the frame and Floppy seat posts and oh, suspension seat posts don't even get me started on those. What a curse! Uh, suspension's just the worst. I wish it never came to this, but some people are just soft uh, and can't handle something fully rigid, uh, or, or better yet, a penny farthing because that's you know when you get the, the true feeling of a bike with the direct crank drive pedals. Uh, that was early 1930 or something. Was it really? Oh, Schwim, you guys were killing it. Disc brakes, uh, I know this is controversial and a few people are starting to come around on disc brakes. Let me just tell you, horrible idea. I, I can't even fathom why you want brakes on a bike at all because uh, you should be riding it fixed, obviously. Uh, the first tires that weren't pneumatic and you could squeeze a lever and actually jam a block onto the tread. If you have one of those, I think you're doing okay. Uh, even pneumatic tires were an absolute joke and a waste of time. Disc brakes, uh, no good. Disc or cable, don't care. Just the worst and little pun, when will it stop? Never, because disc brakes suck and they don't do anything. Carbon, pardon me. <coughs> Steel's real. Uh, or wood or whatever they developed the first bike out of. This stuff, obviously awful. Making a bike lighter and stiffer and smoother and faster, just would have preferred they didn't. 29er. Yeah, I know everyone loves 29ers. Well, I certainly don't. They should have stuck with one wheel size. Uh, and no, it shouldn't have been 26. It should have been something more like 24. Because if you really know how to handle a bike... You should have just stuck with, you know, an early sort of low rider spec, banana seat style, and just stuck with a good wheel size. Everything since then has been a complete waste of time. Uh, and they should have just been, you know, putting their energy into curing world hunger or something that wasn't a complete waste. And I hope this conclusively proves why every advancement the industry has made has been a failure. Uh, we shouldn't be doing things to bikes to make them faster smoother or easier to ride, uh, especially having electric powered motors. And like I've made the very profound point here, they're almost as useless 
as a light bulb because electricity sucks and uh, they're probably just powering these electric bikes through coal anyway, which is greatly contributing to uh, global warming. So electric bikes suck. You shouldn't ride them because of all these other reasons. And anyone who does ride them, uh, ride them you should defriend them on Facebook, uh, write them out of the will. Uh, you should abuse them, but don't abuse them too for forthrightly. Like abuse them a little bit so they still hang around and think you sort of like them just so you can abuse them again. Like, don't give up. Uh, don't scare them off entirely to begin with, just little bits. Uh, and that's how I think we should deal with this plague that's just infesting our industry called electric bicycles. What a joke.